Drug-induced liver injury, or DILI, is the major reason for termination of drug development programs and regulatory actions, such as withdrawal of a drug from the market. Despite extensive preclinical testing, species differences complicate toxicity assessments, so safety risks continue to be found for new and old drugs. The DILI-SIM platform is a mechanistic computer model of liver biology that is currently under development and will be used to understand the physiological processes that contribute to DILI, evaluate novel compounds for hepatotoxic potential, and increase the efficiency of experimental evaluation. Our top-down reverse engineering approach makes this problem tractable by focusing us only on the most relevant physiology at each step of DILI. The DILI-SIM platform is being developed by Intellis in collaboration with Paul Watkins and the Hamner Institutes, a world-class independent research institution devoted to preventing drug and chemical toxicity via the development of breakthrough technologies. Intellis also has a cooperative research agreement with the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, which includes a scientific advisory board with experts in hepatotoxicity from FDA, industry, and academia. The DILI-SIM platform will provide a means for more accurate translation of preclinical liver signals to patient risk. Because liver dynamics from mouse, rat, and human are each quantitatively characterized in the model, simulations based on preclinical assays, such as in vitro liver microsomes or cultured hepatocytes, or in vivo mice or rats, can then be used to predict hepatotoxic responses in human patients. The DILI-SIM platform includes the essential processes involved in drug-induced liver injury, including hepatocellular necrosis, apoptosis, and regeneration. Phase 1 and 2 drug metabolism leading to reactive metabolites and the resultant mitochondrial dysfunction with disturbances in free radicals, ATP balance, and steatosis are also represented. Moreover, the interaction between the hepatocytes and the resident immune system and the impact of the inflammatory milieu are likewise incorporated in the DILI-SIM platform. Each of these essential processes is represented in more detail in the effect diagram, which includes graphical and mathematical representations of key processes involved in DILI and provides the ability to quickly follow cause and effect links as well as refer to the supporting data and literature. Virtual patients in the DILI-SIM platform each have a unique combination of genetic and environmental factors, thus providing the ability to test different hypotheses. Virtual patients include differences in the underlying drug metabolism, immune system participation, and liver regenerative capabilities that are consistent with what has been reported. The spectrum of responses to DILI will be represented by virtual patients including tolerators who have no significant toxic effects from a drug, adapters who have some transient injury but quickly recover, and susceptibles who suffer significant liver injury and may even progress to liver failure. Classic clinical markers of hepatocellular death and dysfunction are included in the DILI-SIM platform, including the enzymes ALT and AST, bilirubin and bile salts, coagulation factors, and albumin. Emerging biomarkers will also be included. Several drugs known to cause liver injury are being represented in the DILI-SIM platform as exemplars of the predominant biochemical pathways underlying hepatotoxicity. These include acetaminophen as a classic cause of intrinsic dose-related toxicity and isoniazid and valproic acid as agents of idiosyncratic toxicity. Acute and chronic dosing of compounds will be included in the DILI-SIM platform in addition to drug-drug combinations, enabling simulations of the key aspects of DILI for novel compounds. The DILI-SIM platform will be capable of being applied throughout the pharmaceutical R&D pipeline from the earliest preclinical stages to first-in-man and later clinical trials to post-market. One of the unmet needs regarding DILI is the challenge that pharmaceutical companies and regulatory agencies face when patients show increases in liver enzymes in phase 2 and 3 clinical trials. Translation of preclinical hepatotoxicity testing to human patients is often inadequate in addressing this challenge. While the primary goal in this situation is to determine whether the cause of the hepatotoxicity signals is due to the compound or the patient's comorbidities, the challenge is that the number of patients who present with toxicity is too small to reach any statistically significant conclusions based on the existing clinical data. The DILI-SIM platform will help in these situations by using simulations to provide an alternative means of assessing whether the compound has the ability to elicit hepatotoxicity at the given dosing and exposure in various patients' types. Alternative biomarkers may be proposed based on simulations with the DILI-SIM platform to identify patients who have true DILI in these situations. DILI-SIM platform predictions have been tested against a number of key clinical and preclinical datasets 
such as those listed here for acetaminophen. Virtual patients, virtual rats, and virtual mice in the DILISIM platform have appropriate changes in circulating markers of hepatocellular death and dysfunction, such as ALT and bilirubin, in addition to those representing the intracellular processes following acetaminophen dosing. The intracellular processes listed here include hepatocyte glutathione levels and compound biotransformation via the classic drug metabolism pathways. Similar validation of the DILISIM platform with additional drugs such as isoniazid and valproic acid is planned as development of the platform continues.